Hi, I'm Brian, Product Manager here at Zebra Technologies for Desktop Printers. Let me show you how you can easily create ZPL script, and that script can be put on a USB key and inserted into your printer. Want to conveniently, quickly, and easily set up your Zebra ZD400 and 600 series desktop printer? One tool that's available on zebra.com I would look at is Zebra Printer Setup Utility. This tool can be used on your PC. The one thing I like about this tool is you can use it to create a ZPL script file. And that script file can be loaded on a USB key and that USB key can be inserted in the USB host port on the back of your ZD400 and 600 series printer to update the printer hardware settings as well as network settings. We are now inside the Zebra setup utilities. Two areas you wanna look at are configure printer settings and configure printer connectivity. In configure printer settings, this is where you have your hardware settings. In configure printer connectivity, this is where you have your connectivity options like ethernet and wireless or Bluetooth. So let's take a look at configure printer settings. You'll have multiple windows here. This is where you set the uh, information about your label the width, the height, the orientation, etc. Here you set the mode the printer is in. Draft mode is off. Your print speed is four IPS. Your darkness level is 25. Here you set your print mode. This is a thermal transfer printer, so I have it set for transfer, but you can also set it for direct thermal. And if you're using the thermal transfer and you have the right type of media, you can also set it for direct thermal. I have gap media, so I have it set for web sensing. You can do black mark or continuous or notch. You can adjust your tear off position, your label shift. Here you adjust the media handling. I said I have it set for peel off. You can set it for tear or cut, or if you have a linerless printer, linerless as well. Your media feed options, your back feed options, your ZPL mode, this is ZPL2. Here I have a real time clock. I can sync it with my computer or I can set it to a specific date and time. Here I can disable or keep the front panel buttons that are currently enabled. I can leave them on. Here I can make adjustments to my sensors inside the printer. So I'm going to leave these blank. But what you want to make sure at the very end is once you make all your settings changes is you want to save them to a file. So you click that, you'll hit finish. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my USB key and I have it formatted. It will have a Zebra main directory and inside that main directory will be three subdirectories, APPL, commands and files. You wanna have that same structure and those same names. The file that you're gonna save will be in the commands folder. I did this previously ahead of time. So I named my hardware settings, printer settings.zpl. The main thing you wanna make sure is you have the ZPL extension. Since this is already done and been saved, I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna click close out. Now, say you wanna adjust the connectivity options on your printer. So you can go here to configure printer. You can go in here and I'm gonna do wireless and I am set for DHCP, gonna leave that on. My host name, I'm gonna put that in. I'm going to leave the rest of it as is. Gonna go here, I'm gonna leave my access point at 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz. I'm gonna go in here and say, this is US and Canada because I have a printer that's US and Canada. I'm gonna leave the channel list optional. I'm gonna leave that blank. I'm gonna put in my ESSID. Then I'm gonna go here and say I got security and I have WPA, WPA2, PSK. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to enter my password string. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna go here, see if there's anything else I need to change. Everything looks good, I'm fine. I'm gonna say, okay, gonna hit next. Now here is your ZPL script that gets generated. I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna again, wanna save it to a file. So I'm gonna browse for that USB key again, which is here, zebra directory commands folder. And I did this ahead of time. So I saved it under networks underscore settings dot ZPL. Again, you can call it whatever you want but you'll want that ZPL extension. So I'm gonna cancel out of this because this has been done already. Okay, we are done. The one thing you wanna bear in mind, uh, once you load these files into that commands folder, if you only wanna update, update the printer settings 
or the connectivity settings by themselves, then you might want to remove one of those files from the folder. Otherwise, the printer will execute both of those files. And that is it. We have the printer hardware and connectivity settings on this USB stick. And now I'm going to show you how you can update the printer. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the stick in the USB host of the printer. This is a ZD600 series. We're going to put this in the back of the 400. I'm going to take the stick and insert it. Now you'll see the printer go through a reset process as the stick is loaded into the printer. The printer is beginning to reset. The status light is amber, meaning it's in the process of updating. Once this changes to green and the networking light comes on and changes to green, you should be updated. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our TC70 series, load up the setup utility. We are now into it. We're going to tap. We are connecting to the printer. You can see we are now connected. It has the host name that we set up in the file, ZD421C, and it shows it's ready. So to show you it works, we will go into printer actions, okay, and we'll do a test label.